So the Cheetah 2 is, is an extremely simple uh, operation to assemble and absolutely no tools need to be used. So the first thing we do is start uh, with the chassis and this is really the heart of the Cheetah 2 terminal. Uh, L3 has integrated the iDirect Velocity core module here uh, which is really the the smarts of, of the terminal and um, provides the connectivity to the global GX network. So the first thing we're going to do is place the outriggers uh, on the chassis and it's quite simple. Uh, there's two uh, retracting wing nuts on each side uh, and there's a, uh, a, um, a nut here uh, which will lock into the bottom of the chassis. Now the base unit itself uh, is auto leveling, uh, so, however uh, you need to make sure that the terminal is stable uh, and on each of the, uh, the four outriggers uh, there's a pad to make sure uh, that it's stable and you simply turn the wing nut to make sure that it's uh, on stable ground. The other thing uh, about uh, positioning the terminal, uh, you should um, this is, the, this is the front of the terminal uh, where the L3 symbol is and that should be pointed in the general uh, direction of the satellite. You don't need, to, it will sense where it is once the terminal uh, starts up uh, to be able to determine the actual uh, pointing of the terminal. So the next thing we want to do uh, is place the pedestal unit uh, on top of the chassis. There's actually a groove on the front of the chassis unit uh, to take this tongue uh, that gets placed in and then we secure it at the rear. Okay, the next thing we want to do is place the feed boom on the pedestal. It's very simple. Again, another tongue and groove system and only a single cable that needs to be connected. On the side there's a rubber cup, rubber cap uh, where the cable harness gets attached to. Now between the chassis and the pedestal, again, there's only a, sing a single cable uh, that attaches uh, the two units together. The main thing to know, uh, this gets placed in the J3 connector uh, and the part of the cable with the yellow indicator on it actually gets attached to the 
uh, pedestal unit. All right, the next thing we need to do is apply power to the terminal so that we can orient the pedestal uh, in the elevator position to complete the operation uh, by putting the pedals on. So what we do, simply take the AC power cable uh, and plug it into the J1 connector. Now there's an on-off switch. I simply turn it on. So once the terminal is powered up, uh, we need to wait for uh, the chassis to go through a boot sequence uh, before we can uh, hit the green button uh, on top of the pedestal to move it to the upright position. We know that it's booted up uh, when you look on the LCD screen uh, and the L3 symbol has actually disappeared and you have the, uh, your, the menus available. So that has occurred now. So I'll just press the green button and the terminal is going to move to the upright position. While it does that, uh, we can start to prepare the pedals. So there are five pedals that get attached, uh, two on each side uh, and one at the top. So I'll place, uh, the first one we want to place is the top pedal. Uh, again, a fairly, very simple tongue and groove setup. Align them uh, and clip it at the back. The best way to attach the two uh, side pedals is actually to put them together first and then place them on uh, in a single piece in order to help alignment. The pedals only fit, in, fit on in one way um, so that you know that you'll that if it doesn't fit then you're, you're not on the wrong spot wrong side on the right side. Okay, and that's the assembly complete. It's as simple as that. Now we're ready to point the terminal.